The JS5 is the latest glider in the open class, a class where the full engineering potential of any gliding producer can be set free. Juncker believes that the 24-meter wingspan is the sweet spot for performance in the low- and high-speed regime. But how does a prototype look, and what philosophy is behind the construction? Last Wednesday, Nordic Gliding had a rare chance to get an online closer look at the JS prototype with design engineer Maurits Bonnet, that's the guy in the picture, and sales agent Arne Boymüller from Junker Sailplanes. The setup was a bit funky, as I was sitting in Copenhagen, Denmark, while Moritz, Arne and the JS5 was in South Africa. So please excuse any rough bits in this video. So obviously the, the goal for this glider was to, to improve the overall LOVD and the climb so it's better at high speed and at cl in climb conditions. So we hope for it to be better than the JS3 on both sides of the spectrum. Um, not only just. You think so? Yes. Even, even, in, even in, in strong conditions, you think about our run at JS3? Yes. Which so, is very strong in, in the strong conditions. Um, so, in general, that's the aim, yes. So, uh, we will see if that yeah. comes to life, but uh, according <laughs> to the calculations, uh, it's supposed to be a better product on the high speeds and, and in the climb as well. So, uh, it will be into the proof is in the pudding, obviously, <laughs> but the aim is to yes, for this product is to be the best product we've ever produced. So, we really yeah. put in a lot of effort yeah. in all aspects um, to ensure it's better. How many test flights have you done so far in it? Um, no, there's been a bunch. So Roughly. Roughly. <laughs> on the Roughly. on the first day, uh, there's been uh, the the maiden day. I think there was five flights, and then the the day yeah, after that, there was that. another three. Um, then Oscar, I, I mean, he does up upload all of his flights, so he's done a 900 in it already. Yeah. He just started a bit late because he was okay. the tuck pilot for the day, so otherwise he would have flown a thousand. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah. Ati has flown it full empty as well, and so yeah, there's been a bunch of flights up to this point. So. At the moment, um, it flies any opportunity the weather allows, it seems like, so <laughs> between Oscar and Ati and other people, okay. so, yeah. And it, it's going to be an interesting time so, next week, because next week the South African Nationals start. Yes. Uh, well, actually, on this, this weekend. Yes, this weekend, so, correct. So, I think starting on Friday, actually, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, so, we'll be watching Oscar and how he's doing. Um, from my experience, find the J3, it does compete quite well with the open class. Mm. Um, and there will be several JS3s in this competition, so that will be a nice benchmark mm. because the J3 could keep up with most of the open class gliders I know mm. about, yeah. uh, except in weak weather. But in strong weather, it's going to be mm. very interesting to see how this one performs. What kind, of ex what kind of lessons have you learned from designing and building the JS3 that you have taken into the JS5? Have you learned anything about um, materials or aerodynamics on, and how to make profiles and things like that that, that are that you have put into this glider so in particular you can mention um, if you look between the JS3 and the JS2 you can see they're, they're from the same family um, so we've Compared to the JS1, the JS2 and JS3 has got a lot of the same building procedures and techniques. So we have the same um, processes in place for them. So you can see it's just a, it's a different product, but it still uses the same methodology to assemble the glider and build the glider. And then from um, for the JS5, from what we learned from the JS2 as well, because we've had a long industrialization phase of the JS2 to ensure we've got the correct tooling and the everything is in place to ease production workers um, and reduce hands-on time with um, on the product. So for the JS5, we took that to a next step um, by improving the, the tooling even more by machining large billets to ensure we have dimensional accuracy. We've got some, um, some nice measuring equipment we use to make sure some of the uh, components is accurate to 0.2 of a millimeter in 3D space. And over, if you think about the, the span of the of the wings, so um, we produce all of the molds in house with some some new um, some new tooling boards. We uh, we have some new materials for that as well. So continuously, every point we can improve, we would like to improve. So that is what we do, um, and that's what engineers do. Is they obviously try <laughs> obviously try to expand the envelope, and Ati um, always expands his knowledge with some material testing. So he always continuously improves the material testing and knowledge he's got. So that's why we've implemented some new some new modulus carbon fiber on this aircraft as well.
Yeah, so it's obviously a continuous improvement from every in the in the aspect. So even from the worker installing it or, or working and working on the floor, um, and from an engineering uh, perspective, we if every product in the field you get some data back as to what you can improve, what's failure points. So you design it in such a way that hopefully you don't see that um, some of it might be small stuff that irritates pilots that you take away, <laughs> and other stuff might be bigger that eases production. So yeah, I think throughout we've, as a design organization and a manufacturing organization, we've improved the product overall a lot. What, what, can, you say, what can you say about the cockpit size versus the pilot size when you go from the JS3, JS2, JS5? So obviously JS2, JS5 are the same and then JS3 is it's a bit smaller. Um, so the feedback's been good from, from, for the JS2, especially for the tall pilots. Um, but the canopy frame is different in this compared to the um, JS3. JS3 has got a high canopy frame at your shoulders, mm -hmm. um, but everybody seems to be fine, able to fit in this aircraft. We haven't had too much complaints or any complaints of, of people not mm -hmm. fitting into this. So in general, I think it's a more comfortable co uh, uh, cockpit compared yeah, to the JS3. Electrically adjustable Yeah, so this is exactly the same as in the JS3. Then it's mecha mechanically operated um, a water system. And so initially we did have an electrical water system, but some of the pilots do prefer mechanical system. So therefore we retrofitted it back to mechanical system, um, uh, which is the more difficult thing to, to manage, but it works well. And then this is the seat back adjustment. So you can change the, oh, the height okay, of the seat in, with infinite amount of settings. Of, so you have that. Yeah. That is something you I in flight that, you can adjust. I, I didn't know seat. we had that. Yeah, in flight you can adjust the seat, and then for the rest, um, it's just behind the trim. Currently we have the throttle. It's been removed as we remove the engine system, um, so the throttle is just is situated behind the trim. And yeah, for the rest, like I mentioned, you can see it's the same uh, family as the JS3. Um, there's a lot of the same design okay, so features. Uh, yeah. It has a manual uh, carriage yes. operation. Correct. So it's not electric, right? Correct, yes. Um, it doesn't have a nice handle at the moment. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's part of being a prototype, <laughs> <Sorry>. yeah. <laughs> because sometimes you change some of the handles to see ergonomically if it will be better, and there's some, been some exchanges, so uh, it being the prototype. So, um... Talk about the road to certification. Um, this is a long process of test flying and, 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 and document production, mm -hmm. I guess. Yes. Um, is it going to be the same? Uh, are you going to have like a, your, your partners in the or can you talk about that? Yes. Will you have to assist you in that matter? Yes, yeah, so I don't have the most knowledge regarding that. So the JSU certification has been launched. Um, and then we already have started from our side preparing the documents for for the JS5. And um, while we're still in the the, the phase of uh, getting all of the tooling uh, for the for the wings, we already started with the documentation. Um, so it will be a, a long process as it always is. But we the test flight period is actually one of the shortest periods in the testing. Um, as part of the certification, the most work is the amount of paperwork behind it. But uh, because we design gliders from a fundamental point of perspective um, some of the documentation is already included within the design so it's just documenting the, the design so that helps a lot so we're already in process um, getting preparing the documents for this uh, to launch the and it, I'm, I might be wrong but it could have been already launched uh, the project or it's in the initiation phase of launching the certification for the JS5 and MND will I believe also assist us with this process okay. yeah. um, Electric version, if if if, if there's a such a thing, <laughs> eventually. Yes. Um, is, is, does it mean, does it exist other than in the, in the minds of uh, <laughs> you know external people? Does it do you, is something you talk about inside the company? Yes, obviously uh, electric propulsion is a big part of gl uh, glider aviation at the moment, so there's a uh, big market for it as well. So it's something we will pursue, I believe. Um, so yeah. um, it only makes sense as the market is going there and that's the need of the market. So in general, if you think the philosophy of JS is to provide customers with some of their dream products, 
and therefore um, if it's something the the customer would like to have then it's something we will implement because then there's definitely a market for it as well yeah i think i think we are yeah. contemplating not just a piston engine but also mm. jet and the rest mm. system yes. It was really cool that you could show us, uh, show off the glider. It's a pleasure, it's been a pleasure. Thank you, okay. Thank you very much for later. taking time to end your interest in the plane as yeah. well. I'll take care of the glider. Okay, yeah, cool. no, no worries. Thank no, you. Okay. Thanks see you again. a lot. Yeah. No, really